Grant you and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. We about to take the top off. We got a Maybach. Let's take the top off. It's a nice day. It's a nice day. Nice day. Pull out them clean things with the top off and let's do what we got to do. Go to the beach. Because the Eagles just took the top off. I don't know if this is a bikini contest. I don't know if this is... I don't know if this is a wet t-shirt contest, but the top is off. Deshaun Jackson is back. Deshaun Jackson is back. Still got top and speed. Yeah, he a little old. Yeah, he you, you, you know, Deshaun Jackson averages like 20 plus yards of reception. He's that guy. It's pure speed, pure deep threat. Deshaun Jackson, d Jacks, back where it all started. Hungry for a ring. Hungry, hungry, back where it all started. Man. Man, back where it all started. You think Shady don't want to get back now, especially? Everybody's back where it all started, man. Back where it all started. You see, you could try to do the ugly stuff. You can't You can't go against God and what God want, Chip Kelly. You can't go against God. God wanted God wanted Deshaun in green, and he back in green. Still healthy, still got his youth, still got his top end. You know, it's, 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 it's critical. It's critical for Carson Wentz to get back in tune with the deep ball. It's critical. It must happen. It must happen. There is no sense of having a Deshaun Jackson on the roster or trading for Deshaun Jackson if you're not going to challenge the defense deep. We failed to do that a few times last year. I don't know if it was the lack of the deep threat because we didn't have Mike Wallace playing. He was injured. Mac Wallace was uh, was also injured. Um, we didn't really go deep like we should have with Nelson Aguilar. And speaking of Nelson Aguilar, this kind of... it's. What's going to happen with Nelson Aguilar? Because the way our the way our offense is built right now, we're primed to run a lot of two tight end sets with just Deshaun Jackson and uh, Alshon Jeffrey and two tight ends that can help the run game as well. Two tight end set. I mean, it, it's so many ways they could tackle this. Do they want Nelson Aguilar? Do you want to keep Nelson Aguilar for depth? I mean, you never know what can happen. Nelson Aguilar, Nelson, Nelson Aguilar started the season as the wide receiver one. He started as the wide receiver one. Alshon wasn't there. Nelson Aguilar started as the, as that guy in the beginning of the season. So we just got to see how these things play out with Nelson Aguilar. But he got to be willing to take a pay cut. He got to be willing to take a pay cut. Deshaun Jackson is coming ready. He's coming to perform. Um, he's coming to perform. And you know what? Um, people are going to hate and say he's old. But Deshaun Jackson been torturing people since day one. Deshaun Jackson ain't lost no step. Deshaun Jackson is going to fry the NFC East. He's going to fry the NFC East. Deshaun Jackson is going to fry Josh Norman. He's going to fry Landon Collins over the top. I mean, jo Deshaun Jackson fries the NFC. He's going to fry Dallas. Dallas still didn't pick up a safety. Deshaun Jackson is going to fry the NFC East. He's going to fry him. I, I don't see no. I don't see no way, reason, way, shape, or form that Deshaun Jackson can be stopped by the NFC East. When he was with us, he fried. When he went to Washington, he fried. He's going to fry these guys, bro. It's, it's, it's no if, ands, or buts about it. The Dallas Cowboys uh, content creators, yes, they're hating. They're always going to hate us. They don't like the moves we made by getting rid of Michael Bennett and adding a Malik, a Malik uh, Jackson. They don't like it. For some reason, they think Bennett uh, deserves so much praise and that he's better than Malik Jackson. I believe that Bennett should have stayed in, in retrospect of Malik Jackson, but we freed up cap space. We freed up cap space. Malik Jackson is also younger. Malik Jackson is a stud. Don't act like you don't know who Malik Jackson is. And the thing that really bothers me about uh, about these guys who are, who are not Eagles fans is that they want to say we had no money. But we've been the busiest. We've been the busiest with very little money. I mean, Brandon Graham just got signed. Malik Jackson got signed. Deshaun Jackson got signed. We've been the busiest. A lot of contracts got restructured. You don't hear anything coming out of none of these other camps outside of the NFC East besides dumb moves, which the Redskins have made, and no moves, which the Cowboys have made. But sometimes no moves are better than dumb moves. The Washington Redskins look absolutely pathetic with paying Landon Collins all that money. They look absolutely pathetic with going to get Case Keenum. And you know what? I spoke about a report earlier that said that Nick Foles... Um, was in line to be treated like Case Keenum and free agency house. Sway Nick Foles just got a bag, 50 mil guaranteed. Congratulations to Nick Foles. We have nothing more to do with you, Nick. You came, you saw, you conquered. I wish you all the best over there where you're at. What is it, AFC South? I wish you the best moving forward. I know you're going to make the Jaguars better because you're a great player. But Deshaun Jackson, man, Howie Roseman just being busy, man. Howie Roseman just doing what Howie Roseman does is no surprise to me. It's no surprise to me. We should, we should not be, we should not be, surprised by the things how we do or we should not be 
close to thinking that it's over. This is day one of free agency. And we got Malik Jackson and Deshaun Jackson. The sun ain't even go down yet. The sun still shines on the Kings in Philadelphia. Deshaun Jackson was born to be a Philadelphia Eagle, man. And Deshaun Jackson is going to come with the hunger. He's going to come with the OG mindset to school a lot of the wide receivers, including Alshon Jeffrey. Not really school him, but, you know, just the work ethic, just just speed, conditioning, training. Deshaun Jackson is going to help out a lot. Help out a lot. I expect to see a lot of people getting a lot of one-on-one -on -one coverage. Now, it's, the tools are in place for Carson Wentz to succeed. He has an arsenal. He has weapons. He has two competent tight ends. Yeah, he has a Hall of Fame tight end in, in Zach Ertz. He has Alshon Jeffrey, who's proven to be an above average uh, wide receiver one. You have Deshaun Jackson, who is the best wide receiver two that you can have because he can take the top off. You got an array of uh, slot receivers still on the roster with Aguilar and Jordan Matthews. Now you have to go after a running back. You have to complete the circle. You have to complete the package. Carson Wentz, it's all at your fingertips, and I believe you're going to get it done. I believe you're going to, you know prove a lot of naysayers wrong man i'm ready for some football i'm ready for some football man i'm ready for some football like i said we're going to get no less than 11 wins i think we're going to run through the division this year but you know you got to wait and see because it's any given sunday man any given sunday it's getting spooky for the nfc east